this lesson is um, about uh, using robotment in a practical way. Here I am on site in the Catskill Mountains and I found a composition that I really like. It's early in the morning and I am looking at my composition and deciding which robotment lines I want to use. So I'm not just going to fill my canvas with a bunch of lines. I'm going to look at my composition and decide how I'm going to use the armature. Okay, so I'm going to start. So one thing that interests me is that there's a tree on the left side that sort of stands out by itself. And that I'm considering putting on one of the robotment lines. My hill is also moving in the direction to the right. And I want to make sure that I get that feeling. So I'm going to add another line to help guide me. So I'm interested in the direction of the hill moving this way, and then the direction of the fence moving towards me, and then the uh, position of that singular tree on that side. I'm not sure I'll be able to get this tree in over here. So we've moved forward, and now I've indicated the lines of the major masses of my design. So you can see the robotment lines that I've used. Those radiating from this corner and are moving in this direction indicate the movement of the hills. The leveling off of the hills catches this line. Okay. And now if I look at this side where I have the radiating from the middle, it indicates the, the fence line with the grasses. It also helps me indicate some of the far hills there, okay? This is the, the middle halfway point, and right here is like a power point, right? So it's along the halfway point on the horizontal, and one of the robotment lines on the vertical. And there I've created the low point in which to look into the valley, okay? Also from this point, there's a little roll in the, uh, the field in front of me, and I've indicated that roll along that line there. And then some of my fence posts are accenting. This one's accenting this line. This one's accenting this line, because they're all very crooked. This one is accenting this line here, okay? 
So how I've manipulated my design, I, it, it wasn't like it just fell on here perfectly, okay? Um, like I said, this tree was key to be on the rebotment line. So and I had to create a little extra space in here to actually make that work. But that's about creating the drama in the design, okay? So instead of having my tree, which is probably right about here, I've shifted it over to the left. Um, you can see that now I've uh, blocked in, especially the upper half of this composition. And um, the rebotment lines are not evident any longer. But I still um, keep them in mind, like um, that drama of the light moving in this um, direction is part of the rebotment design and I'm conscious of that while I'm blocking it in. So I've just come in from painting outside and I spent two days on this composition and completed it this morning. So I want to go over the rebotment armature that we had talked about on site. Um, remember that this tree fell on the rebotment line also, I talked about that PowerPoint that fell on the other rebotment line as well as um, the horizontal middle line. And um, I also added, like, you might not be able to see it on the film, but I also added a highlight from a distant silo that's in the hills to very subtly emphasize the rebotment line that way. But if you really look at the composition, I've really emphasized the diagonals. The diagonals moving in this direction with the hills, and the diagonals moving in this direction with the field and the fence line. And um, also, each of these fence posts mimics one of those diagonals. So when I went out on site, I had a feeling for the place, and I went there trying to capture that feeling and I used the armature to amplify what I already felt about the place, not to change my idea. Okay, and I like to use the analogy of uh, poetry. When we see a beautiful sunset, we try to use words to describe that sunset. And it never quite feels like we've said enough. But when we hear it in the form of a poem, and I'm going to read you a poem by Charles Baudelaire, um, An Invitation to a Voyage. It's one of my favorite poems. There's a section about a sunset. He says, The sun at close of day Close the fields of hay Then the canals at last the town entire In hyacinth and gold Slowly the land is rolled Sleepward under a sea of gentle fire when we hear that, it amplifies the feeling of that sunset. The form of the poem heightens and amplifies the experience, giving it impact and making it memorable.